Roll it. Rachel. Okay, the Seahawks are about to score a touchdown and everyone's sitting on the edge of their seat. And then everybody yells, touchdown, they scored. And then everybody goes for another chip and grabs some dip. <clears throat> when you go to a get-together or party, usually chip dip is one of the main snack foods that you'll be eating because everybody loves it and it keeps them wanting more. My personal favorite is guacamole. I'm going to be showing you how to make guacamole. In the Tulsa World News Magazine, they said that the Super Bowl is guacamole's second day to shine next to Cinco de Mayo. People who grow avocados say 26 million avocados are whipped into dip. <clears throat> there are many different ways to make guacamole. I'm gonna be showing you my personal favorite way to make it at my house. It's simple, tastes delicious, it's inexpensive to make, and I printed copies of the recipe for everyone to take home if they like. So I'm gonna be showing you how to make it, chop all the ingredients together, and then mix everything. So first what you want to do is gather all your ingredients and make a shopping list so you know what to buy at the store. You're going to get two avocados and then you can also use tomatoes or salsa. I like to use salsa because it has a little bit more flavor because it has all the extra ingredients in it. Um, red onion, half a cup of red onion, half a jalapeno, two tablespoons of cilantro, one tablespoon of lime or lemon. You can use juice or you can use fresh limes or lemons. And then half a teaspoon of salt, one pinch of pepper, and then mix everything and eat it. So first, you start with your avocados. And you want to use a bowl that's big enough so you have plenty of room to work with. Second, you'll add your fourth a cup of salsa. Third, your half a cup of red onion. Then your half of a uh, jalapeno, just to give it that extra spiciness. Two tablespoons of cilantro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or a little extra. <laughs> and then your lime. One tablespoon of lime. I just cut it into a wedge and then you'll just squeeze some in there or you can use the juice in the bottles, like I said. Then you're gonna add your salt. And like Stephanie said, I use sea salt because it's better for you. And then a pinch of pepper. And in the entertainment close, they said that there is an actual National Guacamole Day. It's September 16th. And there are also 500 varieties of avocado around the world. California is the second largest producer of the fruit with more than 7,000 av avocado groves. I thought that was very interesting. I never knew there was a National Guacamole Day. So then you're gonna mix all the ingredients together. And I've obviously done all the chopping ahead of time. So you would chop everything and then mix it all in the bowl until it looks like you have everything folded in together. And then I've had, there are plates that went past around, I don't know how far that they made it, but I brought some chips and then I'm gonna let you guys try it and then take the recipe home. Now, if you've paid attention, you'll know what ingredients you need to buy and how much of each ingredient to chop and mix everything together. According to the spokesman review, 
Making fresh guacamole isn't difficult, but for those of you that don't want to put in the work, there are shortcut options to make it easier for you. One no fuss method is to buy pre-made guacamole from the store, or another way is you can use a pre-packaged seasoning mix that you just stir into fresh mashed avocados that already has all that flavor in there. I hope you'll enjoy making this recipe and sharing it with others.